would you take this bet? Daniel Jones over or under 12 and a half games starting for the New York Giants next season. You think he makes it through a whole season? Uh, I'll take the over. I'll take the over. Yeah, I'd go over. Um, I think the problem with Daniel Jones is that when da- Brian Dable and, and this current regime got the job, <clears throat> he was, I believe at that time, the most turnover prone quarterback in the entire NFL. Um, and so then they come in and Brian Dable gets his hands on him. And all of a sudden they win a playoff game accidentally against the Vikings. He cuts down his turnovers, but I would contend that that's not because Daniel Jones just miraculously stopped turning the ball over. It's that Brian Dable designed a scheme because he's a great coach and a great schemer that accentuated Daniel Jones's strengths and de-emphasized his weaknesses. Um, I mean, look at all the pre-Dable years and look at all the post-Dable years. Um, so that's kind of how I'd come at it. Um, I don't think Daniel Jones fixed anything mechanically. I don't think he fixed uh, his his lack of ability. I think he just got a great coach. And my instinct is, well, if if I if I could see Brian Dable do this with with and you know Daniel Jones, man, what if I got him a real a real quarterback, like drafted him like a real, you know, guy that he could mold and 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 you know, like some clay, you know what I mean? And and Daniel Jones is not that. Daniel Jones is, you know, like a, a cylinder block, bro. It's over. So you know, they'll they'll he'll, they'll you know hold on and and do what they have to do because of the contract. But I mean, you already saw they got the they had they were having the itch, you know. Jane Daniels, Jane Daniels, you know, like, yeah. like uh, Tyrone Biggums, you know what I mean? So I think this yeah. is probably the last year of the Daniel Jones era in New York, unless he has some kind of, you know, miracle season. Yeah, no, I completely agree, man. That's why I want to play any season long props and I don't want to think, I don't want to do anything with the Giants. They might win six, seven games but because of the coaching staff. But I think like if you're a Giants fan, you want it to be a disaster. Also, I mean, I just got done saying Malik Neighbors could be a top 10 receiver in the league. But I also would have been pissed at the draft pick. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Saquon draft pick. Like, you're taking a running back that early when you have that many needs. I mean, that's why, you know, if you're not a smart football fan, you probably ripped the Harbaugh decision to go offensive lineman and not to go with a stud wide receiver in a deep, you know, a deep class like this. But that's how he wins, man. He builds the trenches. Like, people forget when he was the head coach in San Francisco, they went to a freaking Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick behind center running RPO stuff and with Michael Crabtree as his number one wide receiver. He wants to run the ball. Um, Like, if you're the Giants, it's a sexy, flashy pick again. But, like, as great as Malik Neighbors is, he needs a quarterback. And I don't think Daniel Jones is that guy. Again, I don't think he's as bad as everybody makes him out to be. Even the playoff win was against the Vikings, who that year were outside the top 25 in pass defense. He threw 300 yeah, wasn't yards. That, wasn't that the year where the Vikings were like the luckiest team in the league, right? Yeah. Like that, yeah. was, that. So it's like that doesn't even that doesn't even hold water to me. Like, you know, then you yeah. got absolutely killed by a real team. I mean, yeah. run over, backed up over, run over again. You know, I mean, the Eagles made them look stupid. Yeah. But like if you're if you're a Giants fan, I would almost want even if you think Michael Penix was a reach for Atlanta, I would probably I would have been more excited if my team drafted Michael Penix, even if they reached on a quarterback, because that's how you win in this league, right? Like you yes. need a quarterback. I would have been I would have been satisfied. I would have no, been happy. Even if Mahomes Mahomes was a reach. Nobody was saying Patrick Mahomes was a was a great pick. You know, I mean, they're like, what are they doing? Yeah. What is what is Kentucky doing? You know, I mean, Jordan Love. Everybody paying that one. Um, you know, you just, when you decide, which I believe we have that what you have in place is not good enough. There's truly just no point in delaying the inevitable, you know, and I know they paid him and all that, but I mean, it's not like he's going to just become some elite quarterback, you know, it's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, Malik neighbors is, is a good piece, but like, is, is, are we, what are we saying here? You know, right. uh, is he going to come in and have, I guess the only time where I could think that, you know, it may be this uh, process might have worked is Stefan Diggs in Buffalo, because we were having questions about Josh Allen before Diggs showed up and then Diggs shows up and out. But I don't know if that's just because of Allen's age at that time. Maybe it's a combination of the things, you know, that's possible. 
I, I think we're dealing with a, a, a product where the hay is kind of in the barn on Daniel Jones here. Is this a situation where, okay, they address receiver, they address offensive line, um, that, that now Daniel Jones is going to be in a situation where he could actually succeed? Or is this just a case of you can do, you can do whatever the hell you want, Daniel Jones just isn't going to succeed? Well, I, I, I do agree with the uh, with the hard knocks. It's been very transparent. It's been fun. I There's been a couple of duds over the years. Like, I remember when Herm Edwards was coaching the Chiefs, like, there that was that was lame. You've got to have, you know, a good, like, an all-time quarterback or an all-time coach or an all-time personality like Rex yep. to make it interesting. Yep. And, and I enjoy the, you know, the end of the roster guys and the stories that they tell, how they humanize the players. I, I've always enjoyed that. Yeah, the music kind of gets you, like it gets you in the mood for football, <laughs> fantasy draft. You know, summer's almost over. It's you know, and and we're moving towards the great sport of football. But the giant, this one's been very good because it does take you deep into their mind. Um, and and they've been they, now they've got editorial control over this, so I give the Giants credit for putting a lot of this stuff out there. Uh, you know, I, 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 listen, I think that the giant. <laughs> It's year three now, and they still don't have their guy. Like, they inherited Daniel Jones. I don't think that they really wanted to marry themselves to Daniel Jones. But, you know, when you win a road playoff game after a long period of being down like the Giants were before they won at Minnesota a couple of years ago, you have to bring him back. I mean, it, otherwise, it's, it's deemed negligent. It's, you know, you have to. So they were kind of boxed in the corner. Now, they were smart about it the way they constructed the contract. So after this year, if, you know, he's still banged up or he just doesn't show growth or the Giants are a middling team, you know, then you can just get rid of him and it's not incredibly punitive based on the way they structured the contract. So they were smart about that. And yeah, I, I think that there's – the, the problem with Jones is when you evaluate Daniel Jones, aside from the Giants and aside from the contract and how long he's been in the NFL – like, just as a singular entity, I think Daniel Jones is fairly interesting. He's big. He's strong. He's fast. He's got a fairly good arm. Uh, not incredibly accurate. And I do think he's pretty smart as, as a Duke uh, as a Duke rat, obviously. So there's a lot of boxes that check. And he's tough. You know, he, he puts his pads down. It's part of the problem. He keeps getting hurt. But he, he's a football player. So I, I can see why there'd be appeal there. But but after a while, much like Zach Wilson with the Jets, and I'm, I'm not saying that Jones isn't better. He's, he's much more distinguished than than Zach. But there's just a finite window on how long you can keep running the same quarterback out there without any, even with the road playoff win, any real palpable movement toward a Super Bowl. So I think he's been dealt um, kind of a bad hand with a bad old line so far. A lot of different coaches, a couple of different GMs, revolving door, weak wide receivers, some injuries. I'm not saying it's all his fault. But, but I think most football observers, including me, you know, see his ceiling here, and you've got to get to about here to be a Super Bowl team. He, he's not that guy, but you could do a lot, lot worse. Put it this way. If the Jets had a healthy Daniel Jones last year when Rodgers went down, they're a playoff team. You know, I still, but that's, that's that murky area of, of being in the NFL. If you're not moving in the direction, like clearly as a Super Bowl team, where you can say definitively, we got the guy like Burrow, like Mahomes, like Brady. We, we know all the names, obviously. You know, Jordan Love out in Green Bay, he seems to be that guy. Josh Allen and a few others that I just kind of glossed over. If you don't have that guy, you've got to keep looking. And, you know, I get it. It, it was it was a complex dance. I, I think that they navigated it fairly well. And I think they've acquitted themselves well on hard knocks. I, I, I think Dable's a, a, a guy's guy. I think, you know, if you sit back and, and you pound, you know, five or six beers with him, I think you love him. Uh, I think he's a straight shooter. Uh, I think Joe Shane is smart. And I think the Giants have the right people in place. I just, I don't know how many points they'll score. I think their defense is going to be really good. But I think the offense will be, you know, I mean, it wasn't good last year with Saquon. So what is it this year without Saquon? Mm -hmm.